In this video, we will take a brief look at the main differences between an HTML file and a CSS file. An HTML file is saved with a .html file extension. It can contain HTML codes, CSS style rules, and JavaScript code. HTML code provides structure for the content on a web page. A CSS file, on the other hand, is saved with a .css file extension. It can only contain CSS style rules. No other code should go in a CSS file. A CSS file provides style for the content on a web page. Let's take a look at how HTML and CSS files can be configured to bring some style to a web page. In this HTML file, the CSS style rules are embedded in its head section in between style tags. This is called embedded or internal CSS and the listed CSS rules between the style tags will only apply to the HTML code in the same file. If we launch this HTML file we will see how the embedded CSS rules affect the look of the page. Now let's take a look at another HTML file which has all of the same HTML code but instead of having the CSS rules embedded in its head section this version of the same web page from before uses external CSS through the link element. The link element points to an external style sheet called styles.css. So any style rules in that file will be applied to the HTML code in the HTML file. Let's look at that CSS file. As you can see, it only lists CSS style rules. There is no other coding in a style sheet, just CSS. Notice that the same exact rules from the embedded example are being used. Therefore, if we load up this HTML file in a browser, it should look the same as the other HTML file. And there you go. As a best practice, you should always use external CSS because it's easier to maintain and it keeps the HTML and CSS separate, making your code easier to follow by other developers.